Hi folks, Steven here with a review of uh, Roaring All-Stars and Tweedia, the two new Japanese Pokemon music singles. Um, in case you don't know, last weekend I put up a video of an unboxing, which I, I recommend you definitely take a, a look at. I'll put a card in here. But um, the thing is, uh, they come with some really interesting stuff, you know, the, the, the Pokemon editions of those singles, and really do want you to take a look at that. Um, here we'll be just doing a review, and, and just so you know, I'm not claiming to be a professional music reviewer. Um, I don't have any training or anything like that, um, but um, give it my best shot here. And uh, I also should point out, in case you didn't know, I have very limited Japanese knowledge, so I'm not really appreciating these songs on a lyrical level so much as just listening to them as music and sort of judging things there. So with that said, let's uh, go on to the review. Let's start off with Roaring All-Stars. Now, in case you didn't know, this is the current ending theme to the Pokemon uh, TV show in Japan. It's also uh, associated with the short from the 18th movie. Um, the first time I listened to it, I really didn't like it all that much. Uh, it just seemed a little busy and loud, and it really just did not uh, strike me, strike my fancy, I guess you could say. Um, but uh, I thought about, you know, what is it about this song that makes me not really like it? And uh, what I did is uh, I thought, well, you know, I think maybe if it's too loud, and it might be uh, the percussion and instruments. So... What I did is I, you know, went into Audacity and I took the regular version, the instrumental version, lined them up, and made it so that uh, the instrumental version would uh, cancel out uh, the regular version. And uh, you know, I just sort of played with the volume and stuff like that to get, you know, to some of the instruments removed. And it actually struck me a lot better there. I'm not sure exactly what it was. Maybe the vocals started to come out more, and and that's uh, what I like because I think Little Wee Monster did a a good job singing it. And, uh, you know, that, that may just, uh, might just been enough to make me appreciate it a little bit more. It was kind of interesting. And, um, as a result, I'm actually, this is not currently on the station yet, but I am experimenting with sort of, uh, re-leveling it and seeing what I can do there to make it maybe a little more radio friendly, at least in my opinion. Um, the only other real criticism I have of the song, I think it's good overall, especially, like I said, with, uh, the re-leveling to bring out the vocals a little bit more is that there's this speed-up sequence towards the end where this sort of repeats and then gets faster and faster. You know, the song's kind of over at that point. I think they could cut out maybe one or two of those, and the song might be a little bit structurally better for it. Uh, otherwise, you know, like I said, first impression wasn't that great, but I think it's a little bit better in my mind now. So uh, definitely uh, glad to uh, hear some of that. Um, Let's move over to Tweedia, which is the ending song to the 18th Pokemon movie in Japan. Um, it actually kind of reminds me, now that I've listened to it a couple times, of One from Movie 12. Yeah, you may remember that was the Shaman movie, in case you're forgetting, uh, but that was the Japanese ending song. And uh, they have kind of a similar, I guess you could say, space with instruments sound, you know, where they uh, have, uh, you know, the, the vocals, of course, and then there's sort of this uh, ambient, um, you know, the the uh, one uses more strings, whereas uh, Tweedia uses strings, but also like there's piano part, and you know they both have drums and all that stuff. Um, overall, I would say I would like I like one better. Um, I think it has better flow and a more interesting melody, and it's more catchy. Um, you know, definitely more energetic. And. Uh, you know, at the same time, though, I don't feel like Tweedia is redundant or not needed or something you don't need to uh, really care about. I think it's still worth listening to. Uh, Tweedia is on the station right now, and uh, we'll see how, what uh, what folks think of it. In any case, uh, I don't have a whole lot else to say about Tweedia. That's sort of the, the main point of comparison I could come up with. At, uh, not too much that really stands out, not much that really detracts from it either. Uh, I think it's an overall good song. But, uh, of course, you know, part of the point of putting this video up, uh, I want to know what you think. Uh, do you like both songs? Do you have similar criticisms? Do you have different criticisms? Uh, please, you know, let me know, post a comment, or give us a, give us an email. And, and like I said, uh, if you listen to the station, go ahead and, and rate the tracks that are on there. It really helps me determine, you know, which tracks stay around and, and get promoted and stuff like that. All right, folks, thanks.